Guys, we're back. We're back. We're doing the ramp druid. And I was just speaking to the chat in break. With this deck, you don't get frustrated at losing. You become an addict who needs his fix. This deck's probably not really going to have... Probably not really going to have that much... Oh! That much big variance. In terms of... Or, or excuse me, this deck isn't going to have that much of the, the tough decision type games is just going to be pretty clear most of the time with the exception of that one turn in the last game where there were like 15 different ways to play it this is just going to be ultra high variance do you get there or do you not get there like right now what i really want is a nourish this is a great starting hand if we're up against an aggro warlock <coughs> oh yeah We are up against a handlock, so I guess it's going to become the most passive game of all time. Hey, <laughs> turn one swipe, that's what I'm talking about, Core Bird. The changes that I'll probably make is there's so much zoo running around right now. Oh, peanut butter yeti time! It's time to get the beats in, man. I'm gonna make like Tony Chu and just consume the beats. I'm all about the beats. If there's any comic uh, folk in here, they'll get it. Coin. Bird. I'm gonna, probably gonna dump in the wild uh, Poiromancer. I wonder. Get another Yeti in there. Probably pop out the two Ancients of War, put in another Ancient of Lore. From lower in the low end. Shields up. Hmm. What to do? So I can swipe here and bonk him. I can wrath. Hmm? What to do? I think swipe bonk ain't bad. Now the real question is, do I want to mark the wild here or not? I think probably I do. I don't think that there's anything that he can cast to kill this that is nice for him. He can do soul fire. He won't have a black knight. He won't have a... Okay, yeah. So we'll have to discard a card. That's actually not the best card for me to have gotten him on. Alright. This is turning into not the nicest draw. I really, really, really would have loved this opening hand versus Zoo. My eyes are open. Hmm. His eyes are open. How do we want to do it? Probably just wrathing. What? I kind of want to wrath just to draw. I think I will. Screw it. Oh yes. The late nourish. The card I've been missing for so long. <laughs> it's like such yeah. a terrible hand for his handlock. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. That's what I'm talking Oh, we got a flaceless lalipolator. Be silent, be still. Oh, I love me the faceless manipulator. Love me the faceless manipulator. Whoa, whoa. My eyes are 
Oh, this nerd opened his eyes. Shields up! Shields up! I'm going to keep that Black Knight for a future Giganta dude. So, what, what to do? So if I swiped here, I like that a lot. Doink. Doink. Uh, uh. Oh my god. What I really want is that Ragnaros with Taunt Faceless Manipulator. Say it again. So many Faceless Manipulators! Although I do want to keep Mark of the Wild for my juicy Black Knight. Oh! My shield for Argus! Oh! Bro, oh, hello, my name's the Knight. It's not really nice to meet you. I'm not really quite happy. Alright, now we're gonna be dead really soon. I am feeling nice. Which means death is absolutely imminent. You know what would be really nice is an Innervate. I'd love an Innervate. Oh my god, he cast Swellfire. Am I getting double mortal coiled again? No. Alright, do we want to rag right now? Fuck yeah, are you kidding me, man? Oh, I really want a Ragnaros right now. Is that is that the wrong play? That feels like the right play. Uh, I don't know what to do. What to do? Hmm. All right, let's see here. I got double mortal coil. See, if I rag, it's gonna bring him to five, and then he can play two molten giants or a molten giant if he has it. I can bust out Sylvanas now, which would. be fine. I'm really just worried about the Siphon Soul circumstance. I can also drop this for the double taunt. Hmm. Fuck it, man. Here it comes. Chat wanted rag. Here it goes. I think there's not really any horrific play there. Oh. No. <laughs> That's perfect. That is perfectly A-OK. -okay. Flip the fine, hip hip hooray. We hunger for vengeance. Alright. I know what we're gonna do. I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw the swipe. Oh, no we're not. We're gonna draw that. Boom. Where shall I see? Bang. Three cards in the deck give the instant win. Oh wait, did I use both swipes? Alright. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mean remake Mr. Rampus Rampus Bampus. So I think it's fair to say I probably don't want these two nourishes in here. What else are we gonna do? Nourish is just such a mega greed card. But if we're removing our card draw, we want to have another ancient lore in there. I think it seems reasonable. Uh, I think I kind of am swollen in this middly bit. Against aggro decks, I don't need as much taunt, so I think I can get another Yeti in here. Put in two wild pyros, and then I'm going to take a look at what my deck appears to be. It's a little more aggressive in the mid, definitely a lot more uh, able to deal with Lizu. Does this just get smoked out hard by something like a handlock? We have some staying power. I'm kind of going all in on Yetis with this kind of thing. 
No, I think the Sylvanas Black Knight Cairn. Let's give it a try. This is me toning it down a little bit. Oh, I left in two facelesses. There we go. There's something that can be removed. Thank you very much. Um, what wants to be in this? One faceless, or two faceless makes sense when I have like a boatload of stuff in there, but... Um, <clears throat> probably something more in this range. I think I think what I want is one Azure Drake. That feels like around the right mana. If that feels about right. Starfall, I think, makes a lot of sense. Uh, is Starfall the right play? Actually, maybe... Yeah, actually, I think I do like Starfall. Running one Azure Drake works very nicely in a lot of these decks that are looking for a nice five-slot thing. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of a lot of decks running... Running a Azure Drake. Especially when I have my Wrath and my Swipe there. Um, oh! Oh, Case just sent me a ping. Great point, says, try Gadgetzen over Azure Drake. Love it. Absolutely love it. We're against a Druid. Gonna go for my early dropsies. What do you know, Joe? Turn three, chill wind. Turn four, chill wind. I've got the beast in my sights. Gadgets and auctioneer is very, very smart one. God, no, no wonder Case is legend. Oh, you're gonna play your Yeti. Well, guess what I'm gonna do. Fantastic, that is just fine. I am not that upset about that. Do I want to run the Wild Pyromancer out right now? I don't think so. on what it is he's doing. Using my rather not-so-expansive knowledge of the meta. And I don't know of a lot of uh, druids that run the Tazdingo other than the sort of uh, Watcher druid that's nice and aggro and mid-rangey. Is he, is he want to do it? I think I do gotta kill that right now. So I will. Doink. Doink. And what a wonderful draw! You know, I am the sort of person who would very nearly, like, immediately toss out the Wild Pyromancer and then draw the Innervate and be like, OH MY GOD, NO! Speaking of, oh my god, no, that is just A-OK, -okay, fine. He likely has another swipe, I think is reasonable to conclude. And I think this is really good. Now, if he has a Black Knight, then that just stinks, but I am willing to accept that as a potential consequence. Six, uh, six health is a really annoying thing for a Druid to deal with. Oh, yeah! Beautiful, beautiful. Great news, great, great news. Six, six health is an extremely pain in the ass thing for a druid to deal with. Because druid can deal a lot of, like, five mana. Or five damage stuff. Four with swipe. Um, but six is really annoying. The only thing that really does it is force of nature, and I'm super I'm thrilled to have gotten that out of the way. Rot here and rot now. I 
I do draw the two cards here. What to do? I think it's just... I like that. Ben. I'm so happy we got that juicy, juicy force of nature out of the way. We hit him with the juice. Boink. And has he used both of his swipes? What to do? Um, screw it, man, Ragnaros. It's hard to have a bad turn right now. Take heart. Death to Earth, mother. Derp, 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 mother. So, there is a lot of options here. What to do? Man, I gotta stop saying that. So I can hit like that, and then... I wonder... This seems good enough. Yeah! Boom! If he didn't have a nice, big, juicy play to kill Rag last turn, he's probably not going to have a nice, big, juicy play to kill off Scenarios! I could Ancient of Lore to draw two cards in that turn, but I already have... Like, a lot of excellent cards, like, right here. Oh, Speak of the Devil. It's so good to see you and both your shields up here. Alright, kill, kill... Swipe... Kill if I There's a lot of ways to do this. So I can This is the way I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And then I keep the Mark of the Wild Black Knight. Nice. I can see. Boom! Alright, so based upon our sample size of one... <laughs> these adjustments are amazing. Um... There's like literally any play I did there was probably a winning play, but I was thinking about trading my charger dude. Oh. Your soul shall be mine. about trading my charger I must dude. Protect the wild. To kill off his 5-4 ancient allure. Oh. The style thing handy is how you say Jushi. I greet you. Uh oh, is it a zoo? The My greeting. Indeed. I got options, but I think this is going to be the money one. Arr, I'm a chill wind yeti. All right, we're against the zoo. Let's see if we can did it to do it. Sindora. 
Is is okay. They'll probably end up trading, which is totally fine. They'll probably should trade. It would be so glorious if you just went ahead and traded. Oh! Is... Interesting. Okay, so we have some important decisions to make. I can silence this, and then I can kill it, and I can open this guy apart. I must safeguard the now, if I kill with this, I can kill here, and then I'll have the 2-1. That's actually better to just hit him. He got silenced. Shh. Have a seat. So far, so good. Fiery Yeller, our first zoo, up against our reappropriated ramp druid. What to do? He can mortal coil my thing, but I'm sort of fine with him abandoning a lot of momentum in order for that to happen. By the way, I'm, I'm like, a little congested, a little sick in my chest, and it gives me this very, very sexy voice. You know what I'm saying? It gives me this very, very... Really? Do you need a blessing? Really? Oh my god, really? This guy's gonna get the fucking bananas. Oh my god. Do you not know what you've just done? Wait, if I if I cast one, two, three, four. Alright. Does he not realize what he's done? Feel nature's wrath. Yeah. I could have swiped, but I kind of want to keep the swipe because it's a nice, good one target damage. And then I drew the Starfall fall with the first Nourish. Totally A-OK. -okay. I did I did my banana conservation maneuver. I'm probably going to go Chillwind Yeti uh, health. Or a Chillwind Yeti punch. Um... My instinct is to go fucking massive with the greed. What to do? Hmm. I think this is better. I think this is better. Gaining that one health is, I think, better. I don't think playing the taunt out is optimal there. Maybe playing the taunt and then hitting it with the bingo dingo power up mode. Do you need a blessing? That's great news. More X1s. My shield for Argus. Alright. What to do? 
I think this is okay. Not amazing, but it seems alright. And then I think we're in excellent shape. We got our heels. We must cleanse the Sunwell. It's cleansing my Sunwell hard right now. For the crusade! Now we have a couple of options. can play out either of these. I think this is the right one. Am I crazy? Am I going crazy? Am I going insane? Case is going to let me know. Case, have I lost my mind? I think I'm in alright shape. We've already seen Immortal Coil. I think this is okay. He's about to get a taste of the banana. Doomguard's bad for us here. Any possibilities. My shield for Argus. All right. It's okay, Puppy Lock. Justice shall prevail. Alright. Bang. That's a good one. That's a not a good one. We're gonna have to do some heals, man. Where shall I Hmm. I guess I'm gonna draw here. Actually, I probably should hero power. Oh, huh. And if I mark it. Am I- I think I'm being too greedy. I think I just need to, like, up and heal. I am not feeling in focus. This game, I keep looking back at and being like, wait, but I thought- I thought this was actually going okay. Why was this- was with all the feelings? Well, that's a nice pick, huh? I feel very- your cards. Oh. Sylvanas getcha runner. This is honestly, this is where my love for Sylvanas comes from, is this exact moment. The mark of the wild on the Sylvanas. Yes. Alright. He's in the think tank. He's gonna draw a mortar coil, he's gonna shoot me, and then he's gonna hit me with his 4-2, he's gonna have soul fire. He's gonna have soul fire, he's gonna hit me, and he's gonna soul fire, and he's gonna soul fire, yeah there it is. And he pitches the doom guard.
Who dares, man? Scenarius, boom. Eight cards left. I did it. That was so good, discarding the Doom Guard. Mmm, the pain he must be feeling. Well played. Gonna give him the well played. Well played. Now we're just gonna assume that despite that stumbly game, that I deserve all the serious bone eye right now. So we've gone from the extreme have a blast ramp druid. Where did my thing go? Whatever. We went from a have a blast extreme ramp druid to a slightly more tempered ramp druid, and it's worked out well. It's still extremely hot in this house. It's a billion degrees, but we'll be back in two short minutes after I get some water to hydrate myself. At which point we will wrap up the Dectacular.